Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and I've gotten some questions um, personally from a couple of members so I thought I'd put this video up. This is my Amway FPV backpack, um, it's available from Hobby King and a couple of people have asked me like how am I powering this? Now obviously it's got a, um, a lead going into the back of the camera here and the VTX and that goes, comes through here and it comes out to a JST lead. Well there's a couple different ways that you could power this uh, and I'll go over the three ways that I, I can see of powering it and I'll go over the way that I personally will uh, like to would like to do it and to tell you the reasons why. Okay the first uh, way of powering this would be obviously to run a smaller battery pack off your model and plug it straight into here and that that's works just fine. You're adding the weight of a small battery pack this happens to be a 3S LiPo uh, you can run these off of a 2S as well 7 volt so um, that's not my preferred way, even though that's the way I did it in the beginning. The second way would be to um, tap a JST lead off of your main ESC. So basically, you would have your ESC lead, and you would basically tap a, um, a female end uh, of a JST coming off of your main leads right here, solder these in. That's a way of doing it as well. Uh, it's a little bit more permanent, uh, but I like to do another... Uh, method which is just making up a small GST uh, connector with the male on one side and the uh, GST connector on, on the other side and you'll notice that this is uh, tapped into uh, just two pins even though it looks like three it's the two outside pins and I'll show you the reason why you want to tap out to the outside pin so basically you would take this um, balance lead and plug this in and it will power um, 11 volts to your uh, your VTX here and your camera so let me show you how to do that okay guys first things first I wanted to show you the reason why I like to go off the two outside uh, pins of the connector here your black the black side here is always going to be negative and the red side is always uh, and all these other pins are going to be uh, the positive so you can take a look here now if I go to here the first two leads you're going to see that it is the voltage of one cell. So if you're running something off of one cell, you could actually plug it into those two t two leads. Now if you go to the next one, you'll see that is um, the voltage of two cells. Now if you go off the... and you could actually power the FPV backpack off of these two uh, wires. Now if you go to the third one, you're going to go up to uh, 12 or 11, 11 volts basically. So that's where I'm going to be powering this FPV backpack off of the two outside leads. So that's how this works, how you can tap into a balance lead to power your VTX. So how do we go about that? So here we go. We have one that's soldered up that looks just like this. I'm going to go ahead and solder one up for you right uh, here. So you, you need uh, this end of the GST, not this end. Here we have our balance lead coming off of our battery. You can see the red here on the, on the right side and the black on the outside. So this is the corresponding uh, receptacle. Uh, for the uh, connector that we're going to make here. So we're going to keep the red on this pad here and the negative on this pad here. I realize this is a different looking uh, um, balance lead uh, that probably, um, I know I haven't really seen too many of these, but they work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and get this soldered up. Red to the right and black to the left over here. Of course, we're going to tin those pads real quick. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and test this real quick. Okay, positive to positive, negative to negative. Let's put this like this. We'll see how much voltage is coming off of here. And we're getting uh, 11, 11 volts. So that's perfect. So this is going to power our VTX. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our, um, our VTX, which is going to be here. This is the View XL screen for my View XL goggles. Pretty sweet. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Uh, positive to positive, negative to negative. And there we go. Let's see. Hey, it was that ugly mother. Okay, so here we have it. There's my View XL screen. There is my camera. You're looking at yourself. So, this is a, when I was doing the FPV, this is really cool because I could see the front of my. Um, 
airplane, you can see the dials at the bottom of the screen. It was really cool. It was almost like you were flying the uh, the airplane. So anyway, guys, hey, thanks for joining my channel. I uh, hope this little tip helped you guys out. Uh, like I said, there's a couple different ways of, of doing this, but this is my favorite way because it's just simple and easy and you can move it from one plane to the next. So anyway, see you guys. Bye.